NAM 2016, we are here with Dave Smith, who uh, has, in conjunction with Tom Oberheim and, uh, and Dave's man Friday, Tony Caravitas, uh, the hardware engineer, uh, have released the OB6. And you may remember the Prophet 6, uh, which you probably saw me do a video of uh, a couple months ago. Uh, and the OB6 brings back that classic Oberheim sound. It again uses uh, VCOs. It is uh, all true analog. And I'm going to let uh, Dave tell us more about it. Well, it, I, you kind of nailed it. It's a collaboration of Tom and me. And we just decided it was time to bring back the SEM, but in full programmability, poly polyphony of six voices. And uh, it turned out really good. Uh, everybody who plays it, when they come up, they hit three notes and they say, Oberheim, it's just got that sound. So it's really fun to have it back. Awesome. Give us a little walkthrough of some sounds on uh, the front panel. Sure. Um, let's see, uh, basically we have, well, it's very similar to the Prophet 6, roughly, same art sequence or arpeggiator, but we have two VCOs, we have the filter. The, the filter is really the awesome part because you have not only the normal frequency and resonance, but you also have the mode, since it's a state variable. Uh, you can go from... So being able to do that back and forth, and actually this is a modulation destination from the LFO, from the envelope, from the uh, even from oscillator 2 at audio rates, so you can modulate the mode of the filter, uh, which is really fun to play with. Uh, another thing I should mention is we added two new effects to the uh, uh, OB6. We added Tom's original uh, Mastro phase shifter and ring modulator. We modeled both of them, got Tom's approval to make sure we nailed the sound, and so those are available as digital effects. So just a little bit more Tom cool stuff that we added in there. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the uh, modulation section? I mean, we have a uh, sort of a S SEM style two voice, uh, two oscillator per voice architecture, rather, six voices, two oscillator per voice. Um, and you, know, you were really famous uh, for the, the polymod of the Prophet 5. What's on offer for modulation options here, uh, other than the filter thing you just described? Well, of course, we have the LFO and we have Aftertouch, which is new for an FCM because nothing had pressure back then, no aftertouch. Uh, on the OBs, they, it was called cross mod. So that's what we have here. And for sources, you could have in, uh, filter envelope or oscillator to as sources. And then you could, different, you could assign it to the frequency, the shape, pulse width. Uh, you could modulate between the normal filter and band pass or you could modulate the filter mode switch like I was just talking about. And that could go from low frequency range all the way up to audio range on all of the things, uh, destinations and cross mod. So it just gives you a whole lot of options and different ways of shaping the sound. <laughs> 